yeah, there's there's like no no contact up in this game. Kind of surprising. Things can do uh, can do contact damage if you're in a vehicle, but that's it. I'm gonna catch up with that bullet. <laughs> of course. Like, even the enemies in stage one, like, look how fast that guy fires when he jumps. Like, once he's in the air, he's firing immediately. Even, even the very first stage is just completely rude. I mean, you have you have all these enemies that don't don't do contact death, which is nice. But then you've got enemies that just kind of fire at you without giving you any warning that they're gonna fire. I mean, with those guys, yeah, if you see them stop in place, they're gonna jump straight up and do it. But if you're new to the game, you're not gonna realize that, and you're not gonna have time to get out of the way. So again, that's kind of a kind of a dick move to put in stage one of your video game. And yeah, I don't know why the jeep blows up when you get out of it. Everything just explodes in this game for no reason. More explosions. Need more. I saw him that time. I have yet to get the expert guys like flying out of the, the vehicle at the end. I swear it happens. <laughs> it hasn't happened yet tonight though. They're actually worth items if you can shoot them in time. Maybe there's some other criteria to get them, but I feel it's like a it's a random occurrence like those those enemies that fly towards the screen up on the uh Kind of the halfway point of stage three of Metal Slug One. Two thirds point. After Alan, you blow up that building and it just collapses. Oops. And that thing just blew up for no reason. I don't want you to keep vehicles for too long. You don't want this game to be easy, right? Those things just blow up without me having to shoot them. Oh, 
down, please. Thank you. Like, if this game did get, like, a port nowadays, there'd probably be an option to, like, reduce the flashing on this stupid background, at least. Well, it's not stupid. It's, it's a cool background, but... You know, it's stupid. Oh, she didn't do her celebratory thing. No pop off. Yeah, although the one I'm using is the uh, the powered up version. It goes farther, but yeah, with the power up, it's uh, the second best weapon in the game. Definitely better than the laser. You have not missed much in the first two hours, unless you're playing the... Unless you're playing the Metal Slug drinking game. We've, we've had some, uh, some good credits on this. Gotten to the last stage a couple times. Stage 4 is causing me a lot of problems, though. What's a Metal Slug drinking game? Take a shot every time somebody compares this game to Metal Slug. I mean, it's right there in the title of the stream, and people are still doing it. I mean... Another goal, I guess. At this rate, though, I don't even know if I'm gonna get to, to play Demon Front. That's... Oh, God. What do these things do? I don't even know what those things do. Oh god! Go back. Had those sound effects, they're gonna make the most of them. 
voices, whatever. Stopped the car and shot it in the back the entire time. Why do I have to drive past it? Slowest missile. The lady in the helicopter is still firing at it. It's dead. Okay. Well, I've been pretty consistent at this stage so far. Which is weird because, like, at first, like, I was having problems with this part, like, keeping the, the Gundam. And now I seem to be able to tap it every time. Yeah, they're fine. They'll, they'll fall on a, a blanket of uh, bullet casings at the bottom. That'll break their fall. Oh, that's not how bullet casings work? Okay. Gundams are mechas, and this is just a powered suit. In that case, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep saying Gundam just to piss people off. <laughs> oh shit! It's gonna cost me a lot of medals. Uh oh, took a hit! I took another hit. Not flashing yet, at least. Actually, I guess it's okay to take some damage because I need to. I need to ditch the Gundam. I never picked up a weapon, but. They take it away on the boss or whatever. Oops, sorry, lady. last two. Maybe it's based on where you are on the screen.
seems like the most dangerous way to go down the track. Like, he can't keep this wheelie going for this long. Yeah, Gun Force 1 is fine. It's not, like, groundbreaking, but it's, it's a fine game. Gun Force 1 does have some inappropriate music, though, yeah. That, that one track, yeah, I think it's stage 3. It just feels really out of place. Long fight K2? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if Final Bird Neo uh, emulates it. Okay, mission four, let's go. Once again. Oh, I don't want to climb on the ceiling. Oh god. That guy decided to fire at me, it'd be all over. Duck in case. This part? This part. I wasn't ready for these guys at one time. Or rather, I was ready, but I was worried about the guys who were running in because sometimes they'll just fire at you. And that time I got tagged by a missile. Okay, good. the damn vehicle. Safety. And laser again, huh? To lose it. Come on. Oh, you stare death in the face. Thank God you can actually outrun bullets. If that bullet had moved a little bit faster, I'd be dead. Okay, hopefully they drop the power up here and not the, uh... Yeah, power up, not boost. Thank God. And power up. Well, you can, I think you can, you can kind of do the dismount. The problem is you lose the vehicle there, like, every time anyway. Like, you're not going to be able to keep it through the entire stage. There we go, I did it.
Fuck that guy. Well, when I was fucking around with that save state, I had the powered up version of the default gun. I think the, the powered up default gun was actually better than laser, but of course you have limited ammo. Holy slowdown. Okay. I got him in the safe spot. Poor boss doesn't know what's going on. He got Robo Ripley. Hey, Sammy! Ah! No, this this is not intentional. For whatever reason, there's like something you can you can stand on in that exact spot. There's spots to the left and right that'll kill you if you fall there. And when you're standing on the safe spot, if you press jump, it thinks it thinks you're not there anymore, and you die. So you just have to like stand your ground. Is on fight K too? Cool. Okay, final mission. Now I know how to handle that one part. I just have to worry about the elevator. That's the that's the scariest part of the stage now. Right, coming out the top. So take the take the top right. Oh god. Make sure this guy is dead. Uh oh. That didn't work out the Why did they come from opposite ways? I'm just fucking cursed in this section. What the fuck? It's random what, what, like, what side they come out from. Okay. Okay. And drop, drop, run. Don't right, get killed when he guts land. Ah, oh, laser. I need something else. I got plenty of time. Although I don't, I don't like laser for this part. I'd love to have gotten spread. The angle here is kind of bad. I get laser first. It gives me more ammo, right? Ooh, ooh! Holy oh, shit. Ripple lasers. What is this pattern? Oh god. Oh 
Oh god, these things. That's right. Not about those. Uh, fucking bear. Don't you fucking... Okay. Uh. As long as I'm on the right level, they should be able to... That's all I can do. All these enemies are kind of jobbers. I don't know if these things. I have plenty of flamethrower. Oh, is that it? I thought there were two that come out at once. All right, final boss. Robo titty. Why does that robot have titty? I don't know. Why not? All right, plant doors. Oh yeah, it is kind of a snake lady, huh? Wait, did I just fucking... Yeah. Didn't even get to the... the other cycle. Flamethrower's pretty good. Get off my ship. Yeah, that was the final boss. <laughs> Really anticlimactic. <laughs> hey, I'm a Marshall. Nice. Oh, they got it right there, a Marshall DDH. Yeah, there's there's supposed to be this uh, this one phase where it starts firing a flamethrower in like a 360 degree arc. It's like that that one boss in Contra 3. But just completely skipped it because power up flamethrowers. Really good in this game. Yeah, there's no ending. It just throws you, uh... It throws you right back into Mission 1. Like, not even, like, a congratulations screen or anything like that. I mean, no staff roll? Okay, but... They don't even say, like, you know, try try next loop. Try next round or whatever. Now, normally I would, like, try to see how far I can get into loop 2, but... I think we're good. Goodbye, world. I want to move on. There's nothing different about the loop. Everything, uh... Difficulty is the same. But you'll be getting more points because if you're at the highest rank, like, you're getting times 20 for the bonus. So loop 2 is, like, potentially worth more points, but then... Every loop from then on is going to be worth the same amount of points. Man, anti-climatic boss fight.